people lost their loved ones and this man was texting. Accusations of distracted driving before plowing into a church bus. A community wants to know why no charges have been filed. 13 people dead and one week later, no charges filed. Tonight, KXAN's Brittany Glass learned it could be months before a decision is made about what will happen to the 20-year-old driver of a pickup that slammed into a bus full of elderly church members, then told a witness he had been texting. That man should be put behind bars because he killed all of those people. Those deaths are on his hands. Beth Ann Blenders lived across the street from the First Baptist Church of New Braunfels for more than a decade. Although not a member, she says she's mourned their loss. I know what it's done to the whole town. He's out just doing fine. A witness says the driver apologized for texting when he showed up to the scene. And I said, son, do you know what you just did? And he said, I'm sorry, I, I was texting. Blender says those circumstances are hard to take. And when I found out that that's how it happened, I, I was mortified. I really was. The Uvalde County District Attorney's Office must now decide what, if any, charges are brought to a grand jury. Their job is to decide the appropriate criminal liability in this case after considering all evidence and witness statements. And it could have been prevented. It could have never should have happened. The DA says if and once that's decided, there would likely be 13 counts for each victim. That's in addition to a possible separate charge for the sole survivor on the church bus. Now, there's a lot of gray areas in life, but that's not a gray area. That's cut and dry. He killed those people by texting on the phone. In New Braunfels, Brittany Glass, KXAN News. At this point, the 20-year-old driver has not been arrested or charged. Once DPS completes its investigation, the district attorney tells us he'll decide whether to take it to a grand jury, but that process is expected to take about 60 days. The senior pastor of the church issued a statement saying that church is praying for the driver and his family during this difficult time. The National Safety Council said today this deadly crash should be a wake-up call for any lawmaker holding out on texting while driving legislation. We checked and found a bill passed the Texas House that would ban texting while driving. A similar bill has also passed out of a Senate committee, but lawmakers are still working to bring it to the Senate floor. This is lawmakers' fourth attempt to pass texting while driving legislation in the last six years. Texas is one of just four states that does not have a law against it. 